Hey guys, this is Paul the Fur with another video. Uh, today we are going to discuss some cards that are banned or that should be banned. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the first two cards I don't have in sleeves, but I think I think they should not be banned. Pot of Greed and Brain Control. Let's go to Brain Control. Brain Control is kind of stupid to have banned because you pay 800 to control a monster for one turn. That's basically it. There's a card out there that beats it. Mind Control. Mind Control is at limited. And basically you switch monsters with one of your opponents. And you get to keep it. So... What's the logic in that? Brain control, limited. Mind control should be banned. And I don't have mind control, so that's not up there. The uh, next one is Pot of Greed. Pot of Greed. Seriously, what does it really do except the fact that you draw two cards from your deck? Oh, you get to draw Exodia. And some of the FTK decks get to go out further and faster. Okay, who's playing an FTK deck anymore? Most of the time with a deck, it's either to clear your field out and attack directly, or to, you know, just, just totally humiliate you in front of everyone. So, this deck, this Pot of Greed card, it's not going to do much. Except get out the stronger cards that you need. So, if anything, put it out limited. You know, you don't need it. Bang. So, banned, limited. Or, uh, sorry, limited, limited. Both these should be limited. Next card is a monster. It's from my Oritakos deck. Cyberjar. Cyberjar is on the ban list. It is banned. Um... For the matter of the fact of you get to basically keep the cards you drew out of your deck or you picked up from the top of your deck. I think that's kind of stupid that they put a banned card, they put this card as banned just because of that effect. That's really stupid. You know, this card gets flipped, the effect activates, it destroys all monsters on the field. Okay, well, you can still protect yourself because the secondary effect any level 4 or lower monster you can put in defense mode based on defense mode <laughs> and everything else you get to keep so it helps both players so why is it still banned it should not be banned because it's just uh, it's, it's just too good of a card not to ban and it's almost like pot of greed it doesn't do much yes it gets to destroy your monster on the field but you still have the chance to defend yourself Next is also from my Oracle's, uh series. I have two cards. Um, Pod of Duality and Book of Moon. Book of Moon, basically what it does is basically just flips it face down defense mode. That's what it does. This should be, I think there's only, this is limited. This should be semi-limited because of the fact of those flip effects and those face down effects. It gives you a more defensive than offensive. And even if, you know, you're using it not on yourself, but on your opponent. It's still just fine, you know. They're going to, okay, I'm going to summon out 5 headed dragon to do this, Book of Moon. It's set face down. What they're going to do, you know, it has 5,000, 5,000. And, do oh, Book of Moon it. Okay, next turn. <laughs> it's not like it, it stays there. You can flip it face up again. It's not like it's going to destroy anything. Uh, in Paul Duality, you, that should be back to three, be, just because it can only, you can only use one at a time. You can't use all three of them on one turn. You have to use three of them separately in three separate turns. Plus, if you use it, you can't stun from a monster. So what's the use, you know? I activate this. Oh, the fear. Oh, I got Red Eyes, uh, like, Skull Dragon. You know? Oh, no, what, like, uh, Red Eyes Zombie Dragon. You know, I can't special them this turn. <laughs> So it's not going to be any use to it. 
it's not going to be any use to special summon a monster when you have when you play Pod Duality because it's not going to be able to. So Pod Duality should be back to three, even though you're drawing out one card. You get to choose some three cards, but you also your opponent gets to look at them and see your deck even more. And these two cards come from my um, uh, my Neo Galaxy deck or my Salt Two deck. Uh, one day apiece and Dark Hole. Uh, I'm gonna start with one day apiece. One day apiece, you draw one card. You can't. You don't. No one takes damage to the end phase of your opponent's turn. Seriously, you, yes, it, it's fine, you know. But I would like it to at least be semi, you know. At least your opponent and you get to draw cards, and no one takes damage. So it's basically e-logging the big game, which is the good part of the game. You want it to keep it going. You don't want to end in two turns, or even one turn. You don't want an FTK. You want, like, an overkill. OTK, I think is what it's pronounced. I'm not sure, but... Um, yeah. So one AFP should be semi. Dark Hole? That should be banned, not limited. The reason why is because it destroys all monsters on the field, regardless of the position. So, if you have... Let's say this. Oh, wait, wait. Just for instance, it's nothing. Um, let's say you have this. Dark call it. You know, all these are gone, now gone. It, dark hole is worse than pot of greed. It's worse. Why isn't it banned? So this should be banned. This should be semi. I think what time it is, uh, seven Um, let's go a little bit into the other cards. Uh, the other cards are cards that should be on the ban list. Um, I'm actually going to go start from the bottom. Because the, the first card I'm going to show you, they're just terrible. They should be at least limited. Um, okay, so the first card. Really? <coughs> should be banned. It's kind of obvious because it's at free and it's kind of stupid, you know. I only have to tribute one monster for this card, or um, ritual one monster for this card. And then I get to suck up one of your monsters and use that as a quip. It destroys basically everyone sealed. If you have five headed dragon and this guy gets someone used to the effect, five headed dragon is now gone. Seriously. Ban Relinquished. You have already banned Thousand Night Restrict. Ban Relinquished. Relinquished is stronger than <laughs> it's stronger than Thousand Night Restrict. Four, four more. So, uh, Ban Relinquished. That would be a good card to ban. Now, the next card are six cards. I think they are the junk of any deck. We have the Six Samurai. Uh, the Six Samurai sh should be limited because of any of their effects. You have one of these, if you have these two out, basically he destroys all face up spell card, he destroys one face up spell card trap, he destroys one face down. He can attack, he attacks directly, he attacks twice, uh, he can destroy a monster no matter what uh, monster. Uh, this guy destroys a face down defense position monster. Basically this is clearing out your whole field. Make this limited, the way I'm using it in my soul deck, it'll work so much better and there won't be anyone complaining about six amorites being too strong. People aren't complaining when I face them against my salt assault deck because I'm only using one set of this. I'm not using two or three sets of them, I'm using one. And no one's complaining because I'm also using other cards, such as um let me grab one Twin Headed Behemoth, Dark Magician Black, Magician Black Chaos, yeah, Dark Magician, uh, Ancient Gear Knight, you know, Future Samurai, Thunder King Ryo, Goblinberg, you know, Insecto Destroyed Hilmos, which is basically, um, Man Eater Bug, uh, Chaos Hunter. I'm using all these monsters different from Six Samurai. 
so it's not thing it's not like I can totally obliterate you with these guys because I'm using a different strategy. So these guys put them on limited. No one will start whining about them if you do this. Okay. Um, next effect veiler. Do uh limited on this guy. You know, you play out five headed dragon. Oh no no no, not five headed dragon. Um, Bronic. That's what it was. Bronx on the field, use his effect, negate his effect or until the end of the turn. So, I, you know, just use one of them. He's not that tremendous to use. So, just put one of them and everyone will be able to. Um, I'm going to do this one at a time. Light and Darkness Dragon. When he's played on the field, he negates every single activation of a spell trap or effect monster and it reduces his attack points. Make him limited because this is so far at a three. Make him limited. No one would want to play with him. Even if they play with him right now, no one wants to play with him too much. So make this out of three. Make this out of one and I'm fine. I'll be fine with it. Everyone will be fine with it. I think that'll be nice. I'm gonna put three cards on here. Uh, Rye Rider, Kaiba Man, and Needleworm. I'm going to first go with starting from right to left, or left to right. Rye Rider. Any monster who attacks, regardless if Rye Rider is destroyed or not from the attack, if he attacks a monster, that monster cannot attack while it's based up on the field. I've had Dragon attack with Rye Rider. Rye Rider, I don't know if it's destroyed or not, because I have no clue about why everyone's looking off of Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki, because it's a wiki page, and everyone's you can change wiki or whatever you want, but what I know of, if this monster attacks this, he is destroyed. I lose life point. But, um, he can't attack. Well, he's on the field, he cannot attack. So, <laughs> yeah. This should be banned. Time Man should be banned. Uh, or limited, whatever one you want. Because basically, its effect is, uh, tribute this card. Normal, or especially summon a. Uh, it basically, I know we'll summon him, tribute him for blue eyes. Basically, you tribute for a higher ranked monster. This is basically way overpowered. You can get out the blue eyes uh, ultimate way faster, or even Dragon Master Knight way faster than you could if this guy wasn't here. Last but not least, Needleworm. Needleworm, you flip it, and basically five cards of him are gone. But I can remember this is not at three. This is at no. This is not at uh, two. I think this is at three. I have to go look at it. But if it is at three, please mark it down to either banned or limited because that's just way overpowered. That you send five cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard, to your opponent's card, opponent's deck. So that's way overpowered. So banned, banned, banned or limited, or banned or limited. So banned, banned or limited, banned or limited. Um, I'll do one more set, and in there I'll do the synchros. Uh, two synchros, Stardust and Dragon or Dragon. Um, get a limit or a band. Stardust way too overpowered. Basically, you can negate the effect of anything just by sending him out, and then he comes back in. So it's it's way overpowered. And Red Dragon, when he's attacked with a defense position monster, all defense position monsters are destroyed. But it also does have the effect of if a monster, any monster you're inside the field doesn't attack, destroy. But it's still, both these dragons, very high ranked, very um, high powered, limited, or banned would be just fine. Okay, guys, so that was part one. Uh, this doesn't want to. There we go. Ah! Well, either way, this, that was part one of the. What I think should be banned, or unbanned, or limited, whatever. I'll see you guys in part two, and the rest of them, they're not even that much, but I'll show you the guys. So, subscribe, become a mate today, comment, rate, and I'll see you guys next time. Here comes the boss.